watching and in a previous video I made a video on V star so the dual space of V and in another video I made a video on uh, V double star which is the dual of the dual space and a student of mine was like hey why don't I make a video on V triple star and I was like you know what this is YouTube. I'll make a video on V star 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 star. Just to show you that you can really do it for any stars. Man. Um, should have done it with like 50 stars or something. Uh, but you'll see it's all the same idea. So let me remind you what you know V star is. So suppose you have a vector space V, we can define the dual space V star which are just linear transformations from V to a field. So either real or uh, complex numbers or other fields you like. So linear transformations F, so called linear functionals from V to F. In particular given, uh, so in V we have the vectors in like X and in V star we have linear transformations called F. In particular, it makes sense to say f of x because the inputs of f are vectors in V. Then, in V double star, technically those should be functionals of functionals. So V double star, it's a set of linear transformations from V star to f. Okay. Technically, it should be something like script f from V star to f and you have stuff like script f of little f. But it turns out we never use that definition because there's actually a very nice isomorphism because between v and v double star. And again, in finite dimensions, in infinite dimensions, they all look usually very different. And it's the hat transformation, and it just associates x to x hat, where x hat of f is f of x. So x hat of f is just f of x. So, which means it's very easy to go from v to v double star. Now, what would v triple star look like? Technically, it would be like crazy functionals, like big F, that takes little functionals here as its input and spits out a number. But it turns out, again, we don't really need this description because whenever you add two stars, and that's the most important thing in this video, whenever you had to add two stars, you have a nice isomorphism, the hat isomorphism. And in particular, given f, we can associate f hat. f hat, and careful, it's not the same hat as here, so it's slightly different because this hat takes stuff in v double stars as input. So, what f hat is, and this is beautiful, I already just wanted to make a video on that, but the rest is just for drama. Um, so what is f hat? It takes x hat as its input and spits out x hat of f. So you see, what's the point of hat? Whenever you put, whenever you flip it, you just remove the hat. So here, you flip x hat and f hat, and then you just remove the hat of f. But what is x hat? You just flip it and you remove the hat, and you get f of x. So f hat of x hat, it's literally f of x. So this is the beautiful thing. Under the identification, those two things are nothing new. You still have the same action of f on x, but you just think of it in terms of x hat. And now the question is, what about v quadruple star? Technically, it takes 
gigantic <laughs> functionals as input and takes a functional in V triple stars as input. Um, okay, so it would be <laughs> huge F of <laughs> humongous F of huge F that gives you a number. And, uh, but again, you don't need this because here you have two more stars than here, so you can add an extra hat to this. And so what you would get is x hat hat. And again, technically different hats, but you know, <laughs> it is summer, so oh, I saw more fit. And what is x hat hat? It takes an element here, it says input, so x hat hat of f hat equals, so whenever you switch it, you remove a hat, so it's f hat of x hat, and this is f of x. So still the same thing, but I want to emphasize, in basically this space, we're focusing on the x's. In the other space, we're focusing on the f's. So the question is now, what is V fifth star? Well, technically it's a huge, huge functionals that take humongous functionals as an input and spit out a, spit out a number. But again, at least in finite dimensions, you don't have to think about it that way because this has two more stars than this, so this is an extra hat. And so what you get is F double hat. And what's important here, here we're focusing on the Fs. So here we have F double hat takes X double hat as its input, and you flip it, and you remove a hat, so it's x hat hat of f hat, but we just saw that this is f of x. So here, f hat hat of x hat hat is just f of x. So it's the same action. And what I wanna emphasize is that, so you notice there is a pattern and you can continue like that, but what I wanna emphasize is that in even stars, so zero stars, two stars, four stars, six stars, you're just focusing on the x's. So in, you're focusing on the x in f of x. But in the odd stars, v star, v triple star, v quintuple star, etc., etc., you're focusing on the f's here because it's here f hat hat that you define. So really, dual spaces is just the story of f of x but in even spaces, you're focusing on the input f of x, but in the odd spaces, you're focusing on the functions f of x. And you have this nice you know, interplay that's going on. So <laughs> I think it's a very cute video, but just to show you that, you know, we have this nice du literally duality between the spaces. Because dual, right, means like two. And notice here we do have you know, the interplay between two spaces. And as I said, though, in infinite dimensions, you know, all hell breaks loose because basically V star is bigger than V. V double star is still bigger than V star. So we have this whole tower of spaces. And we don't have this nice characterization. All right, I hope you like this linear algebra snack. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.